Yeah, hello children, how are you all? Good morning to you all. I hope you are all well. We thank God for another week. This is Mr. Nati coming your way once again. And I'm going to take you through creative arts. Creative arts. What is creative arts? Creative arts simply means expressing your ideas or feelings about your environment. Okay, please. Either with a pencil, a paint, a chalk, charcoal, sand, glitters, or anything at all. So in creative art, we can use most of the things in our environment to do creative art. These are some of the activities that we'll be doing in creative art lessons. This is called the pencil holder. This is a cut and paste activity. This is a house, okay? This is a picture frame. And this one is Mickey Mouse. So we are going to do a lot of creative art activities. So you in the chestnut class, I am going to introduce you to creative art activity. Okay, please. Give yourself the loud clap. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mwah. And the champagne clap. Champagne. Champagne. Boom. All right. So in creative art, there are some materials that we need. We need the washable paint. Okay, please. If you don't have the washable paint, you can get yourself the poster color. Okay, please. All right. This is the yellow paint. This is the green paint. And this is the blue paint. I have another art tool here. This is the paint brush for painting. Okay, please. So today we are going to do an interesting activity and the title is Paper Derby. Repeat after me. Paper Derby. Again, Paper Derby. Now, before I can do paper dabbing, I don't want to soil my dress. So I have the apron over here, and I'm going to wear it. As a very good creative art student, you need to put on your apron to protect you from painting your shirt. All right? So now Mr. Nato is wearing it just to cover me up, not to soil my shirt or my dress okay now i have already poured some of the paint into the working bowl and so this is the red paint yellow and then the green okay i also need my white sheet of paper and this is called the a4 sheet paper when you turn it like this we call it portraits and when you turn it like this this is called the landscape so I'm going to put it in the landscape form, like this, on my big table, okay, please. All right. And I said, you also need your crumpled paper for your paper dabbing. So any waste paper, it could be an old newsprint or any waste paper, crumple it. You see the way I'm crumpling it? into any shape that you want it. So that's what I'm doing. And make sure you leave a space here or a piece here that you can hold, all right? And then I dip it into the paint like this and then dab it on my white sheet of paper, okay? So if I should put it on my table, I go like this, dab, 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 dab. And I have something like this. Have you seen it? I'm going to change the color to yellow. So I've got a yellow on it. I dab it. I dab it. I dab it everywhere. I dab everywhere. I change the color to green. I dab everywhere. And one interesting thing about paper dabbing activity is that after you have left it to dry for about five or ten minutes, you can use it to wrap your items as a gift for your mommy, daddy, uncle, auntie, or anybody 
So that's what I'm doing here. I dab everywhere. Dab it, 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 dab it. All right? So at the end of the day, I'm going to get something like this. A very beautiful design. It's a mixture of the colors. The red, yellow, green. If you have blue or black, you can add it to it. Okay, please. Yeah. So now you have to leave it for about five or ten minutes. Then you can go for it and use it to wrap your gift. As I have done here. This is a sample. So instead of me taking the raw container to somebody, I can use the paper dabbing design to wrap it and then go and present it. So children, I want to entreat all of you to get your paint and your white sheet of paper and any old news print or any waste paper and crumple it. Dip it into your paint and dab on your sheet of paper. You have a very beautiful design that you can even frame it and hang it in your room. All right, so that's the end of today's lesson. I'll see you another time. Please get all your art tools ready, and we are going to have fun in creating art lessons. Thank you for listening. This is Mr. Nati once again. See you. Bye-bye.